Hey guys, this is Ivy and welcome back to the Odigo channel. Today we are in Shibuya, Tokyo and we are going to ask foreign tourists about the do's and don'ts in Japan from their perspective. So first of all, where are you guys from? Belgium. Belgium? Yes, Belgium. Belgium. I'm from Germany. <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Philippines. Philippines. Yes. I am from Spain. From Spain and is this your first time in Japan? Uh, what? Belgium. You're from Belgium. Uh, are you traveling in Japan or do you live here? Uh, I was in exchange here and since then I'm, I'm gonna get married with a Japanese guy this ah. month. So. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. I see. <laughs> uh, so, is this your first time in Japan? Oh no, it's not my first time in Japan. I lived in Japan for nine months. Wow. Uh, in Ichikawa. So Wow, so uh, you are back to visit right now? I'm back to visit because uh -huh. I always come to Japan to buy gaki uh -huh. guitars. I see, I see. So uh, since you're originally from Sudan but you live in Japan now, from a uh, more local perspective, what do you think are some do's and don'ts in Japan? What behavior is not accepted in Japan? Uh, I think uh -huh. in the train, uh -huh. we should keep respect for uh -huh. other people. We, uh -huh. we can't talk, scream in train. Train uh -huh. is like quiet. quiet place, just like library. Uh, from your perspective, what are some do's and don'ts in Japan? So what have you realized, like what you did that Japanese people are like, oh no? I don't know, I've been quite respectable about what I do. So I'm kind of with it, but uh -huh. um, yeah. You gotta make sure that you don't eat on a train. Like, I don't do anywhere, but before I go on the train, I had, to, I had to look it up. Are you allowed to eat on Japanese trains? And they're like, no. And then I, and then I didn't eat. I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And talking as well. Uh, yeah. And yeah. women's only stuff. Like, I was going to go on a train and I saw like a woman. I was like, oh, no, I'm not meant to be on that. Uh, what are some do's and don'ts of Japan? What do you think is not accepted in Japan? Actually, it's quite the same in Germany like uh -huh. in Japan. I can't uh -huh. see really the difference. Okay, it's a little bit more crowded here. I don't recommend any tourist yeah, to travel in the morning. Uh, you're from Belgium and from your perspective and since your fiancé is Japanese, do you think uh, there are any do's and don'ts that you would like to tell fe fellow Belgians when they come to Japan in the future? Um, well, of course the apps are generally like how Japanese people are really polite, uh -huh. uh, very um, have a lot of respect for others uh -huh. and uh, the cleans, like the, like the streets are all, always very clean and stuff like that. Uh, I would say for the down, uh, as an European, like we have this tendency of telling things very straightforward. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And this is difficult for a Belgium on the first time I came here. Uh, when people didn't want to answer me, for example, I was asking where is the station, people would be like, mm, I don't know, it's difficult. And it took me a while to understand that it was actually Japanese no. Yeah, yeah. There is no, like, Japanese don't say no directly to you. They don't tell stuff very straightforward. Yeah. So if you're not prepared for that, yeah. this can be very confusing. <laughs> Culture shock. Exactly. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, are, you are not the typically Asian country, actually. Uh -huh. When I compare it to other countries, like in uh, Cambodia, uh -huh. you know, the red light is a decoration. <laughs> It's decorating, yeah. Uh -huh. It's just it's red and sometimes uh -huh. green, but nobody cares. Uh, yeah, I see, I see. same same in, in Thailand, yeah. Uh -huh. maybe, maybe not in Bangkok, but uh -huh. so you're you're very Western, uh -huh. Uh -huh. very yes. Western, yeah. Yes, very strict. But much cleaner, uh -huh. more accurate. Uh -huh. But as a German, how can I say, yeah? <laughs> but the Germans are accurate. Yeah. So, they are famous for that. Well, is there any advice you would like to give uh, fellow Belgian tourists to coming to Japan? If they're traveling and they're doing a, a long distance, uh -huh. the GR Rail Pass. Oh, <laughs> the Rail Pass. So real, do get the Rail yeah. Pass. Yeah. Okay. Very smart thing. <laughs> drinking in public as well, drinking and on yeah, trains. Yeah. We are not allowed to do that. If they had that in London, it would be... I would have to swear on this. You're not allowed to drink on trains <laughs> in England? Hell no, hell no. It would be a... Sh I will not yeah. swear on this. Uh, Yes, he'll bleep it out. It'll be a sh Don't eat while walking. Uh -huh. I know it's very surprising because as you know, we like to snack a lot when uh -huh. we're traveling, but it's a don't to eat around. Uh -huh. so. I see. Uh, what else? Like, uh, what kind of behavior do you think is not accepted here? Um, cutting cues. Not accepted. Be polite. Fall in line if you want something. Uh -huh. One of the do's is do give your seats to elderly people uh -huh. or those uh -huh. who need assistance. Uh -huh. yeah. I see. Uh, is there any advice that you want to give fellow uh, people from the Philippines who are coming to Japan? Um, do your research. <laughs> do your research on what, where to go and uh -huh. obviously don't just go for like really touristy places but go uh -huh. look into like little 
cafes and you know those unique things as well. I see. Most of the foreign tourists we talked to said that you should definitely explore the unknown Japan. So venture outside of Tokyo and Osaka, venture outside these big cities, uh, maybe explore a small town, explore the small streets and local shops. And also you should definitely, definitely plan beforehand. As for the don'ts in Japan, I feel like we got a more local perspective from people who have been living in Japan for months, for years, or will be living in Japan in the future. So uh, from the local perspective, uh, these foreigners thought that you should definitely tone down your voice in public. So do not speak loudly uh, in public, especially on the trains. Uh, do be aware of the local culture, be polite to people, and uh, you should definitely, definitely not smoke in public unless it is in a designated smoking area. So, these are just a few pointers for you guys. If you guys need more advice on what to do in Japan, or for example, what is off the beaten path in Japan, you should always check out our uh, Odigo website or our YouTube channel for more information. That's a wrap for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. You can slurp a udon noodles, yeah, yeah or uh, ramen, yes. even in Japan. Yeah. In Germany, they wouldn't like it, uh, but this is the way you eat it. Yes. What can I say? Yeah. Yes. So. I see. So, so behave, guys. Behave. In